Welcome to the channel guys. Today's project, we're gonna be replacing a radiator on my 2010 Camaro SS. Um, I recently did a cam swap, uh, did some long tube headers, and in the process, uh, maybe leaving the radiator out on the ground in the garage. I don't know if one of the kids hit it or something, but it developed a crack along the top. Uh, you know, these, these radiators are made of plastic and aluminum. Um, and so where they're bonded together and things like that, the seals and stuff, uh, aren't the aren't the highest quality so I developed this crack um, tried to repair it with some high quality epoxy uh, the epoxy worked a little bit but still have a crack in the top of the radiator so I thought might as well just bite the bullet get a new radiator so let's without further ado let's get into it I'm gonna go over some teardown procedures and this is gonna be more of a how-to type of thing so follow along with me and if you like the content please uh, subscribe to my channel. There will be more projects coming. And I keep teasing my next project. I'm gonna tease it one more time because I gotta get this done first. Uh, I am installing electric exhaust cutouts, so we'll be able to hear how that sounds uh, once I'm done with that. Hopefully that'll be early next week once that, that gets posted. So here it is, guys. Let's get started. Let's take out this old guy and put this nice new clean one in. All right, I'm gonna start with some minor disassembly. Gonna get this air intake tube out of the way. And then we'll move on to the uh, fans and the radiator. Let's get the car off the ground so we can drain it. Much better. Now we're safe. Now I'm gonna get under there and uh, drain the coolant. Now it's time to drain the coolant. All right, I'm gonna let this drain slowly. I got a pretty small bucket here, so I'll shut this off when it gets full. And while we got that coolant draining, I'm gonna go ahead and take apart some of this up top here. Start with the hose, pull this out of the way. And I'm gonna wait to remove this fan. It's all unbolted now. I'm gonna wait to remove it until I get my coolant drained because I don't want any de debris falling in there. All right, we're mostly drained. So I'm gonna start with this upper radiator hose and remove that. And that should give us enough clearance to get the fans out of the way. Just gonna take this sensor off, or sensor connector out of the way on the AC condenser. It looks like it might be in the way. I don't wanna break that. Seems like they could give you just a little bit more room here. Thank you. 
hoses in the way. Got the lower radiator hose off. Now I'm gonna use my dental tool, looks like this, to see if I can pick out these little clips that hold the transmission cooler on. I've got a little bucket down there because transmission fluid will come out, give you a better view of this. Get my flashlight here. Trying not to drop it on the ground, which I might do. Got it. There's the clip. I'm gonna go set that next to the new radiator. All right, and let's see how much of this fluid comes out here. Here we go. I'm gonna save as much of that as I can because I just put. Uh, Redline synthetic transmission fluid in cost me about 50 bucks. So hopefully I don't lose too much and I can put that right back in Okay, here's the old one uh, So where it was leaking was right up here along the top edge where the Plastic end cap meets the aluminum. So I tried my best to use some epoxy because I thought you know what with more horsepower in the future I'll probably need to replace this with an expensive one sometime, but, and so I'll just keep this one alive as long as possible, but that one, that didn't work out. So, um, for now, I went with the cheap Denso replacement. Uh, it's not even the OEM one, it's just kind of an aftermarket one, but it was about $100 less than the OEM. So, for about 120 bucks, I picked this thing up and it should get me by for a little while. Uh, I did notice, it doesn't come with a cap, so I'll have to reuse the cap. Um, obviously it doesn't come with, with these guys that hold it in, into place. And on the very bottom, it doesn't come with the isolators that are on the old one. So I'm going to have to pull those off, put those back on the new one. Um, it does have fittings for the transmission cooler. So that's great. Uh, I'll just be able to put my, my lines, existing lines back in there and everything should be good. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and switch over the lower radiator hose, put that back on put those two grommets on on the bottom, those isolators, and then get it back in the car. Okay, everything's in the right spot. I'm gonna start putting bolts in. All right, let's put the transmission lines back in. Oh well, it seems like I can't get the clip in without the pipe in place, without the, the line in place because it just slides through that hole. So I'm going to go ahead and put the line back on just like that. Then put the clip on, but I'm an idiot. You don't have to take the clips off first. You can push it past the clip. All right, got those clips on at the bottom. It's time to see if I can wiggle this fan back in here. They don't seem to give you very much room to do this.
It just seems like one more inch of space, GM. Come on. This would slide right in. There it goes. Oh, ridiculous. What a pain. Okay. Okay, got it in the right spot. Time to just bolt it on. Hook everything up and then get going. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. There'll be more coming soon.